Good evening everyone, welcome to this new video. It's been a while that I've created a new video, but I think it's time for the part three of our Genesis Algo um, video series, uh, where we're going to finish the algorithm that we were working on. It's a simple algorithm and I have a much more complex algorithm to show you guys and to share with the users of the trading software. Let's start where we have to start and it's pretty much the market, right? Everything is pumping and I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are safe, didn't short too much because guys, these are the days that we're waiting for as, as crypto people, as crypto community. This is the time that we're waiting for, right? We see banks failing. We see kind of the reasons why Satoshi created Bitcoin in the first place. It's kind of playing out as we speak right now. And that's what the market is also showing us, right? Um, a lot of interest in crypto, although the rest of the economy isn't doing so great. <clears throat> so um, I always try to share technical analysis because I think the biggest value you can gain from joining our community is just to understand the market as well as you can. And of course, automate your strategies, create scripts that take the emotions out of your trading. And um, that's been going really, really well. Uh, but also the technical analysis side, I'm very proud that um, that many of you are starting to share your ideas and to get involved in technical analysis. Although it might not have been the main reason for you to join this community, I think you guys are seeing what uh, technical analysis can do and bring for us and help us with. So um, yeah, we're sharing technical analysis and charts um, in the group. So if you're interested in that, please uh, join our uh, Discord community. But I think uh, this was also pretty fun. Um, uh, earlier today, I shared some of my setups, uh, my longs that I have been taking uh, on Kava and uh, Cody. Uh, and I added uh, 12, 10. So 10 past 12, I added also getting in a Doge long, hoping uh, Alan blesses us with a crypto related tweet. Guys, literally 10, 20 minutes later, we had a huge pump on uh, Dogecoin. Um, so this right here, right? We uh, we entered around here before the pump and then it uh, pretty much pumped up within minutes after our post. So that's another great trade that we've been able to make. But today will be around the algorithm, right? So this is the algorithm we've been working on and uh, some things changed slightly. We removed the safety margin because it was causing some error, uh, some, um, yeah, difficulties in the in the algorithm. So we changed that up slightly, but uh, for the rest, it's still the same indicator that you guys uh, uh, have uh, availability to. So um, yeah, let's just continue uh, with where we left off. And uh, these are the two um, strategies that we've created. Basically, the agent tables, right? That will be trading. Um, trading the market for us, as you guys can see, we have uh, the five take profit levels. Right, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's actually four, and then the fifth one we close the entire position, right? And then the same thing here. If you um, if you didn't watch the last two videos, please start with the last two videos because this is where we created pretty much um, all of the logic that we have right now. And so I advise you guys to start there. And then if you've watched those, then you can continue with this one because this will be actually how to set up the algorithm completely and get it up and running uh, uh, right now. And this is the pause table that I didn't create in the last video, but I will add this um, for those that are interested. So it's basically doing longs and shorts, dollar cost averaging, uh, somewhat of a grid uh, strategy. And this pause table will be running whenever we do, do not have a long or short signal. Okay, so there is certain periods. For example, let's have a quick look here. Um, right here, we, we were in a short, we had one take profit uh, hitting. And then we close our short right here when the, uh, when we hit our trailing stop loss. And um, this means that um, during this particular period, we were not in any position. Okay, so this is where the grid uh, trading bot will start uh, making some trades just so your bot is always active and um, yeah, making uh, making trades for you. Then we had the long and then the, the pause table should stop and we get to the snipe long main and uh, start running that again. And now you can see uh, the most recent trade had take profit one re uh, hitting and uh, we're nearly reaching take profit two. Okay, so this is uh, what, we're, uh, what we'll be uh, working on today and what we will be completing today. So first things first, let's let's take out our bot uh, because since we already have the main tables that we're going to use, which is snipe long main, uh, snipe short main and pause. So we have three tables to run. Uh, we can pretty much start up our bot because we need the bot um, and the UI to do the rest of the <clears throat> of the logic to start uh, to start our algorithm pretty much or to finish the algorithm, I must say. So um, yeah, let's just uh, launch the bot here. 
<clears throat> for those that are already a member in our Discord and you are looking for something more sophisticated, as you guys know, I've been running the past weeks, I've been running an algorithm live. And that algorithm have, has been doing super, super well, especially during these very, very volatile market conditions. It's amazing that the account has locked in 33% um profit right so uh, that without any leverage so well there is very little leverage being used so 2x to 3x is the maximum leverage that this algorithm uses and still we made 33 percent on our initial um capital which is which is in my opinion it's amazing especially for an uh, algorithm that you don't have to do any manual inputs no emotions involved and stuff like that so for those that are interested in a more sophisticated level, leave an um, uh, algorithm, leave a like, leave a comment on this video, then shoot me a DM and I will send out the entire algorithm, the new one, and you can have a look right here. It's a lot more complex that, than what we've built here. So this is the snipe long main that we've built uh, in, this, um, in this video series. And this is the snipe long main that I've built for the other algorithm. So you can see a lot more agents are involved, but also there is a lot more tables. So you have snipe long main, but you also have snipe long market making, which also ha then again has tons of agents that are doing certain tasks for you. So all with all, you can see there is hundreds on, uh, of agents going to trade for you using this algorithm as, the, uh, as their signals or their triggers. Um, so if you are interested in that, just shoot me a DM uh, and please leave a like and comment on this video so we get some exposure. Um, but uh, yeah, I have this algorithm finished, including all of the webhooks, which we'll be creating uh, right now. So um, yeah, that's for the for the current users. Um, let's start up a test web interface. Okay, so uh, when the bot launches, you can start a test web interface, which will launch the browser. And uh, yeah, the agents are already, as you can see right here, uh, webhooks, um, well, uh, right here, but now you can see this is my uh, new algorithm where I have post snipe long may and and snipe long market making. So there is more tables in here. So I have to quickly change that up and go back to the main bot folder, which is right here, and go to the active tables. Now I need to remove these tables and replace them with the ones that we are working on right now. So give me a second to download those. To download these tables, guys, you go to download and download them as a CSV. So you do that for all three tables. There we go, that's the second one, snipe short main, and then the third one, pause, we download them as CSVs. Okay, now I have them as CSVs. I can remove the other five tables that I had. I have them saved somewhere else, so I just deleted them quickly. And then I can pretty much drag and drop um, the downloaded CSV files into the bot folder, active tables folder, right? So this is the active tables folder of our bot. And here I have the new three um, um, agent tables that we're going to use for this algorithm. So I quickly remove the extra text from the naming because that's important for when um, the bot is going to automatically start and stop these tables. There cannot be um, extra letters or numbers behind it. So now the naming is, uh, is fine and we can restart the bot with the new agent tables. So start test desktop and give it some time to load up. And um, let's quickly then use that time to go over the logic. So what were we planning on doing um, using this algorithm? So we had this little list that we created in the last video where we said, okay, if we have an open long close short alert, which is this fella right here. So every, every time you see this long being printed, that means we're going to open a long and close all shirts, right? So here, here, and a lot of, a lot of uh, other places. So stop loss long speaks for itself. It's um, it's just a stop loss. So what would you like to do when you hit when you get a stop loss long trigger? Um, well, you stop the snipe long. Uh, you stop the snipe long main and um, <clears throat> start the pause uh, pause table. Okay. Um, let's quickly long TP one. We remove that one. Okay, and then on long TP one, two, three, and four, we don't do anything because all of that is programmed into our snipe long main. As you can see right here, the take profits are part of this um, uh, logic. So we, we don't have to do anything there. And then on long TP five, we just close the entire position and deactivate snipe long main. Why would we do that? Well, let's have a look at the, at the place where we probably reach all of the five take profits. Well, here we reach three, so that's not it yet. Let's have a quick look if there is any moment that we can use as an example. Yes, we can. So right here, 
we have a moment where we take a long round. What is this? 1679. Then we have take profit one hitting, take profit two, three, and four, and five. All of them hit, uh, and then price dumps, and we get into a new long. Okay, so basically, at this take profit five, you close your entire position because if we get another entry, we're opening up a new position here. So you want to close the old position entirely. Okay, so that's the logic behind that. And um, then we do the same thing pretty much for the shorts. Okay, uh, oh, I forgot these two. Long again after uh, hit all TPs or stop loss and long again if uh, the super trend uh, change uh, changes. Right, so um, both of these have um, pretty much they 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 start uh, they start to snipe long again. Okay, so st start snipe long, stop snipe short main and close position on shorts. And the same counts for the short side. So it's pretty much the same thing. Um, so let's have a look at the bot. And again, start the test web interface. Close the other one. And go to the agents tab, have a quick look. Yes, this looks uh, right. These are the tables that we're uh, going to use. So then we refresh our data on the test web interface. And this is where we, we will be creating our webhook messages. So let's quickly open up a WordPad where we can save our webhook messages. Um, and then also, we can also uh, put them into a trading view um, strategy right away. So let's call this um, eat algo stream and save this. Okay, so we just quickly created a copy of the last one with the same indicator settings and everything. Um, and yeah, we don't have to put everything into the indicator yet. Let's first start by creating the algorithm itself uh, and the webhook signal. So for that, we need this uh, user interface and we open up the signals because what will happen is TradingView will send us signals to our bot and the bot will then start the, agent, uh, the appropriate agent tables and strategies accordingly. Okay, so TradingView will have to communicate with our trading software and now we need to tell TradingView which type or, or what it should tell our bot in order to get the bot uh, starting and stopping the right strategies. So for this, we have created this signals uh, tab and here you can decide what will happen on certain signals. So let's start off with our first signal. Let's take it out. And our first signal is open long, close all short. So it's basically a, the long signal. Okay, what do we want to happen? Uh, on a long signal, well, like we said, starting snipe long uh, main and stopping snipe short main, and then closing position if it's and uh, if we have any short positions open. So let's quickly do that. Okay, so we want to start snipe long main. So this is snipe long main, and we have um, put all uh, all three on activate. So regardless of what our position is, okay. So these uh, these titles tell you if you have a long position, would you like to start a long? If you get a long signal, yes. If you have a short position, would you like to start a long? If you get a long signal, yes. If you have no position, would you like to start a long? If you get a long signal, yes. Okay, so this this basically tells you your, uh, your current position and the direction of it and whether you would still like to do the action you're um, trying to do. Okay, so snipe long main, we activate it regardless of what the direction of our current position is. So I just click uh, apply. So I have all three set to activate and I click the button to apply this. And the next thing we wanted to do is deactivate the snipe short main. Okay, because if we were in a short and now we're getting a long signal, we want to close the short and stop the short agents from, from before, from the signal before. Okay, so we're going to quickly do that. That means we're going to deactivate all three of them. So regardless of the pos uh, direction of our current position, we want to deactivate the snipe short main, right? And we, if we have a short open, we want to close that short. So only if we have a short, we want to close that short and then apply this. So now we have all three applied and we clicked the buttons to apply this to our template. We can click on copy current. If I click on copy current and I quickly take out an empty field, we call this first one um, the long signal and we can paste this in. Okay, you can see that the whole logic is being pasted in for us uh, in a in a like a re readable format, but it's more readable by a software than by us. But this is exactly what we wanted it to do, right? So if if we have a long position or if we are in a buying position, we want to activate snipe long and deactivate snipe short, 
do not close any position because if we have a long position and we get a long signal why would we close that uh, current long position right but if we have a, a selling position so if we're in a short we still want to activate snipe long if we get a long signal but we do not uh, but we also want to close the short position that's currently open because if we get a long signal there is no need to hold on to a short position okay so this is the logic and i quickly have it right here for us uh, right now so the next um signal we'll be creating is let's have a quick look at our list it's the stop loss long so we stop the snipe long main and we start the pause table okay so for this we scroll down again to the signals tab we cl quickly uh, refresh this so click on reset then refresh data just so the old um, uh, data is removed and now we can click the we can uh, create the second one which was the stop loss so we stop the snipe long main and we start the pause table so it's very simple stop the snipe long main by deactivating all three tabs and then we start the pause table regardless of the direction of our position okay so now that's done and we can copy this into our webhook again uh, into our document again and we call this stop loss long Okay, and there we go again. We have the uh, activate pause and deactivate snipe long main. Uh, no close in, uh, no positions are being closed and the same for all three directions. So whether we have a short position, long position, or we have no position, we're doing the same thing, namely um, activating the pause table and deactivating the snipe long uh, main table. Okay, so now we can continue to the next one, which is right here. We have the four take profits which uh, as we discussed we're going to keep them uh, or leave them empty but it, uh, if you leave them empty the bot will receive a message that it won't understand so it will receive a message which which says long tp4 and it doesn't really understand what to do with that so that could cause an error so what we're going to do is we are going to create a placeholder for that for all four of these okay and the placeholder will basically tell the bot to do something which is probably unable to do so then it will just not do that so let's have a quick look how we can create a placeholder again we're going to reset and refresh data which will bring us back at the bottom of the page where we can open the signals and here we want to um, basically create a placeholder where we say um, because uh, at the moment we're working on the long signals right so when we're working on the logs, long signals we should not have any short positions open so what we'll tell this placeholder is if there is a short open please close it for us apply it at and if snipe uh, short main is uh, active then please deactivate that okay um which of course if we have a long signal snipe short main is not active right so it's probably going to look for it and it will find out it's not active and then it will just continue doing nothing with that particular signal so this is a good placeholder we just copy this over and we will have to use this four times so we'll tp1 to four will have the same signal which is namely this particular signal right here where it will activate no tables and it will deactivate uh, snipe short main if we're in a buy position but if we're in a sell position it will activate no tables deactivate snipe short main and it will close the short position okay because we need to be in a long position um, so those are the take profits now the next one is uh, take profit five which will close the entire position and deactivate the snipe long main table because that's basically indicating uh, long tp5 is indicating to us that the that the trade is done completed we close all of it and uh, look for the next trade so how do we do that go back to um, the user interface and again reset the data on here click the uh, click the refresh button and open up the signals tab again and here we can uh, basically uh, put in our logic where we say close the entire long position and deactivate the long main so close the entire long position true if there is a short position let's also close it whatever uh, position there is let's close it and also deactivate snipe long main sorry snipe long main deactivate deactivate and deactivate okay and i, I copy this and paste it into the document again where i can say this is um, sni uh, tp5 and i paste this in and we can see uh, we can just double check if there is a buy position we're going to deactivate snap long main that's 
good and cl uh, close position is set to true for all three of them so this looks good again and that's it guys those are the first uh, five signals then we have the long again signal so here long again after we hit all the tps or stop loss and long again if we use uh, if we have the super trend 15 minute filter okay so it says uh, start snipe long and stop snipe short main and close position on shorts okay that's what we will have to create so again we scroll down reset the data again and um, refresh the data Okay, now we can create our new uh, signals, which is pretty much to start the snipe long main because this is after we hit a certain stop loss, but we want to long again. We just activate the long table and we close a short position if there is any short position open. Click on apply on both of these and that's it. We can copy current and paste it into our document twice because um, long again. Okay, because we have the long again twice, right? We have um, long again after hit uh, TPs and stop loss and long again if the super trend tells us to do, so, uh, to do so. Okay, now we get to the open shorts and close all longs. It's pretty much the same thing. We just have to reverse everything, right? Uh, this is, for, uh, now we're creating the short signals pretty much. So now we're done with this. I'm scrolling down a little bit. Um, open shorts, close all longs. That's the first one we're going to create. Again, we'll use the user interface for this, reset the data and refresh the data, which will bring us at the bottom of the page and we can create our signals. So what do we want to do here? Activate the snipe short main. Okay. And deactivate snipe long main. So there we go. And if there is a long position, we would like to close it because this is a short signal that we're getting. So if there's any open long position, get rid of it for us. Okay, that's what we pretty much told the bot. Now we copy over this message again by clicking copy current and paste it into our field. Let's just quickly have a check if this is looking good to us. So on a buy position, if we have a long position, we want to close the position, activate snipe short, deactivate snap long, looks good. If we have a sell position, we want to activate snipe short, deactivate snipe long, and don't close the position because if we have a short position, a sell position, that's fine because we get a sell signal. So let's just keep that open. If we have no position, um, do the same things, activate snipe short, deactivate snipe long, and don't close any position because there is no position, right? So that all makes sense to me. So then we get to the stop loss uh, short. Okay, on this particular signal, as we have described, we want to stop the snipe short main um, and start the pause table. Okay, so again, stop the snipe short main by, by first resetting data, refreshing data, of course, and then stop snipe short main. So this is snipe short main, we want to deactivate that. And we want to close position, um, Let me just quickly. Yeah, I think we want to close a short position as well um, and even a long position. So just close any position because it's a stop loss. And we want to activate the pause table um, because um, there is no signal anymore. We got out of the short signal. So let's just do some market making here and copy this over into our document. There we go. Okay, next one is the short TP1 till four. Same thing as last time. Um, what did we do last time for the um, TPs? Let's have a quick look. TP1 to four, we activated none and we deactivated the snipe uh, short main, right? So we basically created those uh, placeholders and we're going to do the same thing right here. And um, by first resetting the data and refreshing the data, and now we can create our placeholders. This is a, these are placeholders for a, a short signal. That means that we would, um, if we have a, a long position, if we have a long position, we want to deactivate the snipe long main. Well, this is something which is not going to happen because uh, this is um, a short signal. So we should put, uh, we should be in a short. So there should not be a long position. 
that's why this will be a placeholder not not a lot will happen from this but this is this will just fill up um, um, the signal alert or the um, uh, trading view indicator so we can copy this and we'll be able to use this four times so there we go and then we have a short tp5 which just like um, uh, long TP5, it's basically the close signal alert where we close off the entire trade because uh, we're going to look for a new trade. Our trade completed pretty much, reached all of the take profits. So what we'll do here is if um, um, short TP5 hits, we want to close the short position. Pretty much um, we want to close any position, right? So close position, we'll set, we'll set that to true. And we'll also tell the snipe short main to deactivate itself. We'll also tell uh, the pause table to, st to start running until we get a new short signal, right? So that's it, copy everything over, and again, put it into our document here. Have a um, double check if, if things are looking go good to us. So activate pause, deactivate snipe short main with close position set to true. That's, that's looking fine to me. Then we have the last two again, which is short again after hitting all take profits or stop loss or short again after uh, the super trend filter, which um, is just a short again signal, right? So um, if you already have a short open, leave it open, but start the, uh, the snipe short main. So reset data, refresh data, and then we're going over here. So this is the, uh, the short again signal, which means that if there is already a short open, leave it open. But if there is a long, long open, then close the long. Let's apply this. If there is no position, let's also just do close. And the snipe short main, we want to activate it again because we're getting a new short signal. If we have any of these uh, above open, we want to deactivate them. Okay, so there we go, apply those quickly and copy current and we can use this same signal twice. So we can call it short again, two times. There we go. So we have all of the signals that we'll, that we'll be needing uh, to run the bot. So that's, um, that's looking great. And let's see what's next. Um, because if you have all of the signals, uh, all of the alert messages ready, what you need to do is paste them into your indicator. So if you open up the indicator by going to the settings icon, um, you can fill in all of these uh, um, alert fields, so to say. You can paste your webhooks in here, right? One by one, uh, fill up this whole thing. And then, yeah, of course you can take over my settings or try to find your own settings. I would prefer if everyone took, um, took some time to find their own settings for the indicator itself. Uh, but um, yeah, for the, for the webhooks, um, yeah, th this is pretty much it. You use the test user interface to create your webhooks. And um, then when you run the bot, uh, it will basically uh, send out those little inputs that we have created to the bot, which, which then the bot will understand which strategies to start and stop. Okay, so now how, how do you exactly create uh, an alert and how do you start your bot, etc. Uh, first of all, you require to start your webhook. This will provide you with a webhook link. This webhook link, you can take it and go over to your trading view, create a new um, strategy here. And you can, uh, from the conditions, you can choose our indicator, the new Genesis algo, and you can remove everything in this message field. Uh, because we'll put something else in here. And in the notification, you can see uh, it will send a webhook URL, and this is how the bot will communi communicate with TradingView. And here you want to change it to your new webhook URL. So this is the webhook URL we just got from our bot here. And we just paste it into this webhook URL field. And then for the settings, you will do the following. You'll give it a name, which you can make up yourself. So test um, Ethereum. And then in the message field, you will require a message that you put in here. So if you click on this question mark, it will open up on the right side, it will open up some text. And here we will, uh, we will require one of the uh, placeholders to put on there, which is I think this one, um, strategy order alert message. Okay, so you paste this one in here and now you are set to go. You have your webhook, so the um, trading view knows which bot to communicate to. You have your settings, the strategy order alert. You have selected the condition of the new Genesis algorithm, and that's pretty much it.
Okay, now if I click on create, up on the first signal that we get, uh, first new signal that we get from uh, our indicator, it will send the message to the to your bot, and your bot will start trading based on that, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to to get the part three out there. Um, please, guys, leave a like, leave a comment on this video, and I will be sharing the more sophisticated algorithm that I've created, which which has a lot more agents, a lot more logic. So I didn't use any placeholders here. I um, Everything has a certain logic. Everything has a reasoning for why it's going to activate or deactivate. As you guys can see, I put some work into this. There is hundreds of agents going to trade for you all with the, call, uh, with the goal, with the common goal to make you some money without emotions because it will all be based on an uh, indicator. Um, so yeah, I think this is uh, this is an amazing step forward. Now um, I'm I'm amazed with everything that's happening around us, with uh, AI and machine learning being uh, uh, more prominent in this field. And uh, yeah, that's why we created our software the way it is. It's it's a little bit co uh, complicated and complex, but uh, all of these agents are um, the, the way that we set up the agents is all with machine learning and AI in the back of our minds, um, so that we can adjust to um, basically techn technological advances that we see in this. Uh, in this market so yeah i think it's uh, i think we have a beautiful time ahead of us and uh, i'm working on some improvements i'm working on a back tester uh, together with one of the discord users i'm hoping that we can get a very very good uh, uh, back tester out for you guys um, and uh, that we can create better agent strategies as well uh, while also um, spending time on improving the actual indicator now i personally think these results that it's uh, giving us are pretty decent i mean this is um i'm currently doing a two and a half year back test and in two and a half years with let's have a quick look in the properties with an initial capital of 200 dollars um you would be making um 10k 10.3k Right, so you would be turning your $200 into 10.3K. This is a pretty accurate back test because we've done percentage of equity, we've done a fee. Now guys, in the link in this YouTube uh, video description, there will be a link to Bybit which will literally give you 0% maker fees. Okay, I've, I've, I don't see anyone on Twitter or anywhere else promoting this because I think they are not earning anything if you guys have zero fees. But in our community, there is a link and in, um, below this YouTube video, there is a link for Bybit. If you register using that link, you'll get 0% maker fees. In the commission tabs, I filled in 0.03% for the commission uh, because uh, when you do a market order, you're still paying some fees. Okay, so I think this is pretty fair. And based on a $200 capital and 100% of your equity per trade, you'll be making 10.3K, which is, in my opinion, a very nice amount to be making on a $200 investment. Right. So if you're interested in this algorithm, join our Discord. We'll have a lot more um, uh, algorithms available. We have a software where you can run uh, um, uh, a lot of different strategies. Um, so it's pretty flexible if you ask me. Uh, if there's any questions, feel free to ask those. The link to our Discord community will also be in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.